Dilfer apologizes for calling Bortles the worst QB. Former ESPN NFL analyst and quarterback Trent Dilfer called Blake Bortles the worst quarterback in the NFL during a 2016 radio interview. At the time, the Jaguars were coming off a nine-game losing streak, and much of their blame was being thrown at Bortles. Well, with the Jaguars headed to the AFC Championship game, Dilfer has since apologized for his remarks. During his Wednesday press conference, Bortles revealed that Dilfer reached out to him and apologized. Bortles hasn't shown spectacular improvement since those remarks, his numbers have been generally the same the past two seasons. But Bortles appreciated that Dilfer reached out even if he didn't need to. After calling him the worst quarterback in the NFL, Dilfer added via Jacksonville.com, I like Blake as a person and I think he showed some grit, and, some determination early on. Dilfer said. At the end of the day, you have to know how to spin it. You have to be able to control the ball, you have to be able to look in a very small area ahead of where the receiver is and throw it right there the majority of the time. And Blake has a really hard time with that. He's just not a great passer. I think he's a great athlete, I think he's a tough kid, but I think he makes panic decisions and is a terrible passer. At least Bortles Facts always has Blake's back. More, an alligator and python battling on a Florida golf course made for some amazing photos ranking the four possible Super Bowl matchups, from must see to where's the remote? New Vikings video of the Minneapolis miracle will give you goosebumps all over again. Former Clipper Matt Barnes slams Doc Rivers, explains why Austin Rivers rubs people the wrong way. The Steelers need to replace Mike Tomlin if they're ever going to topple the Patriots.